are you going to shape the career as an CIS professional? You have reached the right place then, here we are going to cover all of the possible questions that can be asked to an experienced or fresher candidate for CIS. Many reputed companies are offering jobs to these professionals. So, you can still move ahead in your career by learning CIS. We have included a complete list of questions that can be asked to the professionals. They can help you in cracking the interview for the CIS profile. In this video, I list top 30 CIS interview questions with answers with proper examples. To start CIS interview questions and answers session, I request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press bell icon to get real-time updates of interview questions and answers, which is helping to prepare the interview. What is CIS? CIS or SQL Server Integration Services is a component of Microsoft SQL Server, which can be used to accomplish a broad range of data transformation and migration tasks. What are the important components of SIS package? The important component in SIS package are data flow, control flow, package explorer, and event handler. What does it mean by data flow in SIS? Data flow in SIS is nothing but the flow of data from the corresponding sources to the target destinations. What is an CIS package? A package in CIS is an organized collection of connections like data flow elements, control events, event handlers, parameters, variables, and configurations. You assemble them either building it programmatically or by graphical design tools that CIS provides. Name different types of connection or files that support CIS. Different types of connection that work within CIS are ODBC, OLEDB, Netscale Client, Flat File. Excel, XML. What is a container? How many types of containers are there in CIS? In CIS, a container is a logical grouping of tasks, and it allows to manage the scope of a task together. Types of containers in CIS are Sequence container, for a loop container, for each loop container, task host container. What is precedence constraint in CIS? Precedence constraint in CIS enables you to define a logical sequence of tasks in the order they should be executed. You can connect all the tasks using connectors precedence constraints. What variables in CIS and what are the types of variables in CIS? Variable in CIS is used to store values. In CIS, there are two types of variables system variable and user variable. Explain what W is a checkpoint in CIS. Checkpoint in CIS allows the project to restart from the point of failure. Checkpoint file stores the information about the package execution. If the package runs successfully the checkpoint file is deleted or else it will restart from the point of failure. Explain connection managers in CIS. While gathering data from different sources and writing it to a destination, connection managers are helpful. Connection Manager facilitates the connection to the system that includes information like data provider information, server name, authentication mechanism, database name, etc. What is this breakpoint? A breakpoint enables you to pause the execution of the package in the Business Intelligence Development Studio during troubleshooting or development of an CIS package. Explain Event Logging in CIS. In CIS. Event logging allows you to select any specific event of a task or a package to be logged. It is beneficial when you are troubleshooting your package to understand the performance package. What is logging mode property? Sys packages and all the associated tasks have a property called logging mode. This property accepts three possible values. First is, disabled, to disable logging of the component. Second is, enabled, to enable logging of the part. And third is, use parent setting, to use the parent setting of the component. Explain the term data flow buffer. Sys operates using buffers. It is a kind of an inch memory virtual table to hold data. For what data checkpoint data is not saved? Checkpoint data is not saved for for each loop and for loop containers. What is conditional split transactions in Sys? Conditional split transformation in Sys is just like if condition which checks for the given condition based on the condition evaluation. Name different types of data viewers in CIS. Different types of data viewers in CIS include Grid, Histogram, Scatter Plot, Column Chart. Explain the possible locations to save the CIS package. You can save CIS package at SQL Server, Package Store, File System. What is the role of the Event Handlers tab in CIS? On the Event Handlers tab, Workflows can be configured to respond to package events. For instance, 
You can configure workflow when any task stops, fails or starts. How you can notify the staff members about package failure. Either inside the package, you could add a send mail task in the event handlers, or you can even set the notification in the SQL agent when the package runs. How would you do logging in Sys? Logging in Sys can be done by logging various events like on error, on warning, etc. to the multiple options like a flat file, XML, SQL server table, etc. How would you deploy an Sys package on production? To deploy Sys package we need to execute the manifest files and need to determine whether to deploy this into file Sys tomorrow onto SQL server. Alternatively, you can also import package from SFMS from SQL Server or file system. How to handle early arriving facts or late arriving dimension? Late arriving dimension are unavoidable. To handle these we can create a dummy dimension with natural slash business key and keep the rest of the attributes as null or default. So when the actual dimension arrives, the dummy dimension is updated with type 1 change. This is also referred to as inferred dimensions. Explain the method to perform incremental load. The best and fastest way to do incremental load is by using timestamp column in the source table and storing the last ETL timestamp. Name three data flow components in Sys. Three data flow components in Sys are Source, Transformation, and Destination. Explain data conversion transformation. Data conversion is the best method to convey the data from one type to another. However, you need to make sure that you have compatible data in the column. Explain few features of Sys. Some important features of Sys are First is, Studio Environments. Second is, Relevant Data and Analytics and Integration Functions. Third is, Tight Integration with other Microsoft SQL family. And fourth is, Data Mining Query Transformation. How would you stop a package that is running forever? It depends. If you are running the package in the SQL agent, you can kill the process using dsql. However, if the package is running in the sys catalog, you can stop it using active operations window or the stop operation stored procedure. What is the use of a sequence container? Sequence contain helps you to organize subsidiary tasks by dividing them into the group. It will enable you to apply transaction or assign logging to the container. What is the use of Control Flow Tab in Sys? Control Flow Tab in Sys includes data flow task, containers and precedence constraints which helps you to connect containers and functions. Tell me about yourself. Here you are definitely not going to tell the interviewer about your favorite dish, movie or actor. The interviewer asks this question to analyze how confident you are and how you present yourself. The best way to answer this common interview question is to tell the hiring manager about your education and family background. However, this should not look like your life story and you should quickly concentrate on sharing a bit about your strengths that build the platform for further discussion about your suitability for the job opening. Keep in mind. First point, don't narrate what is already mentioned in your CV. Second point, focus more on talking about your achievements and learning. And third, keep it short. Why did you decide to apply to this role? This question aims to evaluate the candidate's interest in the role. Are they really motivated to get hired for this specific job or do they just mass apply to every job ad under the sun? Candidates should show that this application was a conscious decision on their part. Now I am going to share sample answer. I have been following your company's successes for some time now and I know you have a great software development team. I was thinking that this would be the best environment for me to apply the skills I acquired during my internship and master's degree. So, I checked your careers page regularly and when I saw this job ad, I thought it was finally time to try my hand. I have experience in web development and I'm really interested in the projects you're mentioning in the job ad. In fact, one of them was the subject of my thesis. I really think I'm a good fit for the job and can grow even more in your workplace. For th Why are you interested in this position? This question is a critical indicator as to whether you're interested in this company and role in particular, or whether you're simply applying to any role in the field. For instance, it's not a good sign if you say, well, I'm interested in social media, so this role seemed like a good fit. Instead, you want to mention specific qualifications of the role itself, 
and demonstrate how those qualifications align with your personal strengths. Additionally, it's important you mention how you can help drive results for the team. Why are you leaving your current job? This is an opportunity to outline positive benefits you hope to gain by transitioning into a new role. However, one of the biggest mistakes you can make when answering this question is focusing on negative aspects of your current employer, rather than discussing positive aspects of the new company. An HR professional will mark it as a red flag if you talk poorly about your current employer or company. It illustrates someone who isn't very professional, has a negative attitude, and could bring toxic energy into their new work environment. Can you describe a work or school instance in which you messed up? This is an intentionally tricky question. It's meant to glean insight into whether you can learn from past mistakes. If you can't think of any past errors, it could be an indicator you aren't capable of accepting responsibility for your own mistakes. However, creating a long list of past mishaps could make you look unqualified for the role. You'll want to answer this question succinctly, and point out an error that doesn't represent a lack of character. Consider one well-intentioned error you've had in the past, mention it, and then talk about how you grew from that experience. Tell me about a time when you experienced conflict with a co-worker and how you dealt with it. The HR professional isn't interested in hearing about that time your co-worker said something snide about you in the kitchen, or when your manager overheard you gossiping about a client to a friend. Instead, this question is asked to gain insight into how you handle professional conflict. At the office, conflict is bound to arise, particularly when you're working closely with many different people. It's critical you know how to handle conflict without pointing fingers. Your answer should primarily focus on the solution, and should show a level of empathy towards your colleagues, rather than focusing on the problem. What do you know about our company? This is a fantastic opportunity to impress the interviewer. Ultimately, this question aims to gauge your level of interest in the company. The more you've researched prior accomplishments, company values, and basic information regarding the product or service, the more you can demonstrate a genuine desire to work there. How would you improve our current product or service? An HR professional wants to know whether you're innovative, a quick thinker, and if you'll bring new ideas to the role. There isn't necessarily a wrong answer. Here, you just need to show some creativity, and planning in advance will help. Consider potential problems they might be experiencing with their product or service, and how your unique skill set can fill that void. How would your current manager describe you? It can be awkward to brag about yourself, so while this question may seem weird, it's really the HR professional's tactic for hearing how your current boss views you in a work environment. To feel less uncomfortable answering this question, thoughtfully consider your last performance review, and use direct quotes from your boss in your answer. What are your hobbies? In your fresher interview questions, you can even expect some basic interview questions like what are your hobbies? Now if you think why the employer is interested in knowing about your hobbies, it is an important interview question. The interviewer tries to gauge about your personality, your energy level and how fit you can be for the company's culture. Therefore, Share something that adds value to your skills such as traveling and meeting people if you are appearing for a client meeting role. Even sharing some generic hobbies such as some sports or reading reflect well on your activeness. There are two points which is very important and consider all while see an interview. First is avoid sharing hobbies that can give a bad impression such as gambling. Second is sharing a mix of personal and professional interests shows you a balanced person in life. What are your weaknesses? It becomes critical when you have to share your weaknesses, that too, with your hiring manager. However, it is never recommended to say that you do not have any weaknesses it makes you look arrogant. Therefore, choose a weakness that doesn't impact your current job role. For example, you are afraid to sleep alone can be your weakness. There are two point which is very important and consider all while see an interview. First is never brag about the strengths and skills that you cannot justify. Second is always elaborate your strengths and weaknesses with some quick examples. What are your strengths? This is one of the most important fresher interview questions as the employer analysis your strengths for the job role and tries to understand the challenges you might face in the new job role. 
Therefore, be cautious about stating any of your strengths or weaknesses. The good idea is to share strengths that are related to the job. One such interview answer sample for an electrical engineer job interview would be to talk about your expertise in evaluating electrical products, systems and components if you are confident to answer any question related to it. In the end, also saying that you are a quick learner adds value to your strengths. Why we should hire you With this trick interview question and answer, the employer wants to see your ability to pitch your skills and convincing power. Moreover, this interview question is an opportunity to show the interviewer your willingness for the job. The best way to answer this fresher interview question is to talk about your skills and strengths that match the job role. You can even share some more examples of how you managed a few projects or important assignments in your college that reflect your strengths. You should follow this. First is share strengths and skills that are relevant for the job description, but keep it short. Second is wait and elaborate if the interviewer wants to know more about particular instances to validate your points. What are your salary expectations? As a fresh graduate, talking about your first salary is exciting, but a difficult job. The best way to answer this common interview question is to do some research in advance so that you can confidently take a reasonable range. You should follow this. First is never ask for either a too less or too high salary package as this might cost you the job at both the ends. Second is in case you still do not have any idea about a reasonable salary for the job role, you can simply answer to accept the packages per industry standards. This leaves much scope for the negotiation at the time of final offer letter. Do you have any questions for us? Most of the job interviews close at this basic interview question where the interviewer leaves scope for you to clear your doubts. Moreover, asking questions show that you are a confident and focused person who wants clarity for his slash her job. Many fresh graduates hesitate to ask questions from the interviewer, but it is always recommended to ask some relevant questions. You should follow this. First is prepare a list of questions in advance that can help you get familiarized with the job role. Second is ask intelligent questions that show your curiosity to know more about the company, its policies, people, any specific skill you need to acquire for the given role, etc. And third is avoid asking irrelevant questions such as the duration of lunch hours, how often the company organizes parties, or how soon you will be promoted to the next level.